Hi, in this video we're going to introduce interfaces. So what is an interface? An interface lists a collection of methods that help provide guarantees about how classes interact. So what's in an interface? An interface provides a list of methods and does not contain constructors or instance variables. And to implement an interface, the class must define all the methods in the interface. So at a high level, what an interface really is, is it's just a list of methods that provides some guarantee that if a class implements this interface, it will have defined implementations for these methods. We're going to start off with an example that we're making called the summable interface. And our summable interface represents anything that can get added together. Things might implement summable, but not actually be related in a class hierarchy. Um, and in this case, they can still implement the interface. So here's our interface. It says public interface summable. Then within our curly brackets, public int add, uh, summable other, and public int get value. Those are the methods. So in blue, you can see the interface is called summable. That's where the name is defined. And then in blue here, you can see these are the methods required to implement the interface, an add method and a get value. So here we have a book class. Uh, there's more code that we'll look at in the editor. Uh, the book implements summable. And you can see that we've defined implementations for the get value and add method. So you can see these are the key components. Implements is that keyword and public int get value and public int add, those are the key methods here. So we're now going to dive into another interface. This is called the comparable interface. The Java language provides many interfaces and one important interface is the comparable interface. A class can implement comparable and then take advantage of the other utilities to help order objects of the class. So this is useful for sorting, for example. And to implement the comparable interface, you just need to find one method, public int compare to object other. And this will compare the current instance to the other object and return a number indicating ordering. You should return zero if they are equal and a negative or positive number depending on the ordering. So here's an example. Uh, let's say we have our circle class and we want to implement comparable. We'll implement this compare to method. So we'll, we'll say to compare the current circle to another circle, what we'll do is we'll get uh, the rate current radius and subtract the other radius. And then we're going to return an int um, where we call, where we cast basically the result of math.signum of that difference. And math.signum is, is the sign function. So if it's greater than zero, it's a positive one. If it's equal to zero, it's just zero. And if it's negative, uh, it's a negative one. So you can see, you know, this is what the that sign function does. So this easily lets us order circles. So let's go explore these in our editor. Okay, so here we have our summable interface. You can see it's in a summable.java file. Uh, it defines the interface and the methods in the interface. Uh, we have a book that implements summable and what the book has is a number of pages, it has a title, and then to implement summable it returns um, it gives it a value and says, hey, how can we add this book to another book? And for us, adding books means let's just add up all the pages in those books. Uh, we have a food one, which is pretty similar. A food has a name and a number of calories. And to implement summable, the value is the number of calories. And to add to another one, we just add the, uh, add the calories together. So if we go into our sum tester, you can see... Um, you know, we create two food objects, then we can say the total calories by calling the add method, or we create two book objects and we can get the total pages by calling the add method. So let's run this code. And you can see that's, that's how it works. Now let's go and check out the comparable interface. So um, here we have extended our circle class, we have the circle class, and now it implements comparable over type circle. So there's a little special syntax here. You'll just want to type it exactly as is for now. Uh, we'll talk more about that later uh, in the next unit. But this is our circle class. It has a radius. And what we've done is we've implemented this compare to method. And so to compare to another circle, right, we're getting, we're comparing the radiuses, and then we're saying, you know, let's return a number based on which is bigger. 
Um, and then there's our other regular methods, our rather regular instance methods. We've also created an equals method, and so which would say, you know, is this circle equal to another circle? And the way we've done it here is we've said return other is an instance of a circle, and compare to the circle is zero. So usually, if compare to equals zero, the dot equals method should also return true. Equals is not part of uh, comparable but this is you know handy and also related so if we go to our circle tester where we make a couple circles with a radius 6 um, one with a radius 12 one with a radius 3 we can see um, you know the results of actually calling out the compare to so because uh, circle 1 and circle 2 have the same radius they're the same that's that's zero but uh, you can see that you know the circle 3 is bigger bigger than uh, uh, circle one, you can see circle four is smaller than, than uh, circle one. Um, and so this is an example of using an interface.